Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tasfaye. Um, thank you for coming back. And we, in our last video, we have seen um, Java keywords, Java reserved keywords. Um, I didn't show you um, because we couldn't see my cursor moving around when I was trying to show you if uh, we could create a Java uh, class with a keyword uh, or not. So uh, I'm sorry for that. I'm just going to show you that one more time. This is uh, what I was talking about finish. If I have a, a keyword, reserved keyword here, uh, this will be still disabled. The finish here, as you can see, it is disabled now. If I write um, a given name, it will be active so that I can I can click on it. But if I use uh, something that, that's related to the reserved keyword, like uh, as you can see for if or for do, still inactive. We can't click on it. And also up here. Uh, I, I, you, I tried to show you that time, but because my cursor wasn't um, active again, you didn't uh, maybe able to see it. So this is what I was saying, the, the error message, uh, which is really less relevant to the error we made here. So they could have said, oh, this is a, a reserved Java keyword, please choose another name, something like that. So that was what I was trying to show you about uh, whether we can create or not here. And also the same here, if we use any keyword here, as you said, uh, it's, it's the syntax error is not really related to the syntax error, but it is the, related to the word usage, which is uh, whether it is reserved or not. So the same here as well, uh, it says delete, actually, though it is really related to synth, uh, the word usage again, the keyword usage, but the error message looks like different for this one and this one. And so there's no uh, error message for um, keyword usage. So this is from uh, just uh, my previous video. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to what is called access modifiers. So access modifiers, you, you already know, or maybe they are really self-explanatory by themselves, but um, I will just introduce you to this. Uh, so there are four, as you can see, keywords uh, when we define a class or a variable uh, so we use those uh, private, default, uh, protected, and the public. As you can see, if it is defined as a public, like the public main method, for example, it can be accessed from any other place, from any class, from any package, and so on. Package means this one. This is my package. I only have one package here. In this package, I have all of these classes, which we were looking at uh, together. I could have another package, uh, create new package, and so on. So uh, if I have two, three packages, that is what it means here, accessing from a, a different package. So anywhere in in the program means uh, if it is if a class, or a method is defined as public, it can be accessed from anywhere. So it is public, obviously, it's public. In the, in the uh, different analogy, it's, it is a private, as you can see, it has a very limited access. It is only accessible in the class it was defined. The class is what we have been writing so far. We've been writing all classes in in every class here we have only two classes the main class and the class we declared so so it's only in that class when it is a private when it's a private it is only accessed in just 
the same class and within the same class not from other class not from other uh, package so the others are as you can see semi between the two if we define something as the default it is visible within within the package and within the same class one package in the same class okay and uh, that that is not accessible from different package and from different package on on different on different class so that is what default is but it will be accessed in the same package and in different classes protected is more to public is only not accessible from different package as you can see it's not only within package all the classes so it should be in one package in the same package so that way this is why we use those as you can see it is because of security because of accessibility so what we call them uh, uh, access modifiers so let's say if um, if for example uh, we want to define a password we should only define it as a private so in default is already of it obvious when we have um, in our program for example a country a country is so in my program if the country I am going to write is Ireland I can just create Ireland and make it final and no change and then that be, will be creating that that uh, reusing that in any other program that I want to but should be in the same package okay and the public when everything is public what kinds of things are public for example uh, if I define a name for example uh, the, the, the name the age and so on can be called from other from other because I'm only I'm, I'm only calling the name as a form okay as a concept not the value of the name so I'm gonna call name and I give another another name for that new name by creating a new object from that name so that way I can I can reuse this as a form but if I want to uh, uh, limit that I can use other other uh, access modifiers we see here so this is very important concept concept we have to understand in Java programming and uh, you can also this are mostly they are self-explanatory in the programs so you can don't you don't have access to it's private it's privately uh, declared um, uh, it is protected that way the the java program also tells you about this and uh, you will you will have the chance to modify if you want to uh, modify that and uh, we'll see some of this in uh, advanced or um, mid middle to advanced level coding somehow uh, in, a, in a future video but here it is good that you understand the concept is and the way we use uh, this concept is uh, in Java programming. Um, thank you for being with me and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.